Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Master Stroke. Today we shall be talking about something very important, low self-esteem. This topic is very dear to my heart because I have suffered from low self-esteem. So what is low self-esteem? Personally, I like to describe low self-esteem as a mental state of mind. It has nothing to do with your appearance, it has nothing to do with your intellect, it has nothing to do with your beauty, your courage, your character, the aura you carry, your person. It is a mental state of mind. It is a psychological disorder. I suffered low self-esteem because I seek validation from the wrong places. Young people out there, please 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 do not tie yourself what to anybody do not tie yourself what to anything so um like i said low self-esteem is a psychological disorder i believe it is a psychological disorder because it can mess you up and mess you up real bad if it is not currently clinically diagnosed as an illness please medics please scientists please medical diagnostics take note low self-esteem is a mental disorder now like i said i developed low self-esteem from seeking validation from the wrong places or from the wrong place you know and my esteem my what my existence was tied to the wrong place and i basically built on this when the anchor you know gave way i crashed and there is some and i fell into low self-esteem and there is something very subtle about low self-esteem it is when you fall into low self-esteem you know that you are into you are in low self-esteem because then you begin to feel worthless you begin to feel like you're not good enough you begin to feel like you're not you know you're not good enough you're not smart enough you're not beautiful enough you're not this enough you're not that enough you know and you start to miss a lot of opportunities because you do not believe in yourself now low self-esteem is not lack of confidence low, low, low self-esteem is a sense of worthlessness now and as i knew that i was in low self-esteem but i could not you know break from it and i became comfortable with the fact that I was in low self-esteem what I mean by this is I became comfortable with the place I was because like I said the thing with low self-esteem is when you have been there for so long you it becomes normal so it just it, it becomes part of your life and you become comfortable in the place you are and I became comfortable in that place and I gradually 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 slipped into depression but the thing about low self-esteem is it is hard to reach out so i had great people around me i had a lot of positive energy around me but i wasn't confident enough you know to reach out and ask for help because i felt very you know i don't know how to explain it but i couldn't reach out for help and i was in this little bubble of my own go out you know smile dance you know but inside of you you, you know you just feel very insecure any any day you do not receive a compliment you think there is something wrong with you any day you know you have you buy new shoes and no one says oh hi Tony, these your shoes are very lovely you feel like oh these shoes are because it's primark that's why nobody you know you start to feel very insecure or maybe someone does better at you at the tax you begin to feel insecure you begin to develop hate you begin to you know give a lot of negative energy you are not truly a supporter of the people who support you so i developed low self-esteem and i gradually slipped into depression and trust me it is not a good place to be so if you have not suffered from low self-esteem please please prevent it at all when you start feeling like you're insecure about things or you start feeling a sense of worthlessness please please speak to somebody when i speak to people about you know being confident knowing your what who you are in christ what you were created for you know and i tell them that look i have suffered from low self-esteem because they say oh i feel like i'm not confident enough what, what if this happens or i'm like look you just feel like you're not confident enough i suffer from low self-esteem i felt i shouldn't even be there at all 
you know so they say oh wow Tony it's really unbelievable that you know you suffer from those of us but I tell you I do not look anything like I have been through you can as well not look like anything you have been through so it is up to you to take what you want take the lesson out of your mess and move on now how I broke free from low self-esteem um, it was a gradual process I think like they say time heals you know time heals most things but how long it takes how long the time takes depends on you and depends on your determination to break free first I realized that there was a problem I realized that look to him there is a problem you shouldn't be feeling this way these negative emotions are not right you shouldn't be feeling this sense of worthlessness you shouldn't be slipping into depression you should not be crying yourself to sleep you know you should not be feeling so insecure so at first I identified the problem secondly I cut off every thing or every person that was engineering this low self-esteem or was agitating this low self-esteem I did that third pray so like prayer is one of the most important things you could do it is therapeutic absolutely therapeutic pray and you don't have to do the traditional conventional you know way of praying you could just talk to God just tell him how you feel the fourth thing I did was I started to put reminders on my wall telling you're great it doesn't matter how things are looking up looking right now there is a light at the end of the tunnel this is just a phase you know I started putting things or I got some very inspirational things from the internet I put up a lot of these things one of them says people only rain on your parade because they are tired of their shade so I got things like this just to lift my spirit and I constantly reminded myself don't know what to you are great you are fantastic you know, it was not that I was trying to big up myself it, I was just trying to remind myself of who I truly am after that I began to pay more compliments so at first it was very difficult for me to pay compliments because I was very insecure so I did not use to pay compliments but I began to give compliments at first I did not really mean all the compliments I used to give as time went on I began to you know mean this compliment so at first I'll say oh hi your dress is beautiful your hair is beautiful but I did not really mean it not as if they were not beautiful it was just that I was a hater so I began to give more compliments and I unlike physics where you know on light poles attract in the actual sense of what I'm talking about light poles attract so I said attract people you know with positive energy and I so on the days I felt very low I you know drew from this energy and I made friends I began to go out do things that made me happy went to places that lifted my spirit did more things that were fun you know I just broke out of the status quo so after that I then took a conscious decision I made conscious efforts to filter out what I take in I filtered out every comment every opinion every advice I took in what I wanted and I trashed the rest I literally mean trash it put it in the bin trash it straight up do not keep it trash it so as I began to do that I realized that I have the power to determine if your opinion counts in my life or not and you have the power as well to determine whether my opinion counts in your life as well or not you know everyone is entitled to their own opinion but it is in my own jurisdiction to determine whether those your opinions will matter in my life or not so when I realized I had that power I began to vigorously filter out everything that I did not want so I could have people say, oh, Tony, you are this, Tony, you are that, Tony, you are this. And sometimes it's so overwhelming to have a cocktail of, you know, different comments. Some good, some bad, some, you know, <laughs> in the middle somewhere. So I was like, okay, okay, what do I do? But I filtered them out and I took only what I wanted to take. And I binned the rest. I literally binned it. Because when you keep it, it begins to grow. So I, I literally binned it. That helped me a lot to grow. One vital lesson I learned was love. It love, love, love. It 
it is one of the greatest lessons of all. Now, the Bible says that love your neighbor as yourself. Neighbor, self. It doesn't say love your neighbor above yourself. It doesn't say love your neighbor below yourself. It says love your neighbor as yourself. Now, when you love your neighbor as yourself, you want the same thing for your neighbor that you want for yourself. So if you want to be great, you want your neighbor to be equally as great. If you want to be beautiful, you want your neighbor to be equally as beautiful. If you want to be a success, you want your neighbor to be equally a success. So I didn't realize that God created us to be a community. Life is not a competition. It is not a race. So don't go through life, you know, leaving it as if it's a competition or it's a race. No. We are created to be a community. We're created to coexist. We're created to be codependent, you know. No one is an island. We're created to be depend to be codependent on each other. And when I realized that I need to love my neighbor as much as myself and what I want for myself should be what I want for my neighbor. So it's not about saying, Oh, I want to be greater than this person. Oh, I'm doing all this so I can be better than you. No. I want to be great at something. I equally want you to be great at what you do as well because we can coexist. And this is just a random example, but hopefully this will make it clearer. The Bible says we are lights. We are lights. I am a light. You are a light. Now, because you are a light and I am a light, both of us are lights. It doesn't matter if I'm half current or full current. I am still a light. So when they say all the lights in the house, hands up, you know, my hands will go up as well because I am a light. Now, it will be very foolish of you or me to try to put off our lights or put off my lights or me trying to put off your lights because I feel like your lights will, you know, outshine my lights or, you know, I feel like your lights will, you know, be a threat to my lights or I feel like your lights will stop people from seeing my lights. It will be very foolish and the truth is that that's how a lot of us live. You know, that's how a lot, lot, loads loads of us leave you know we try to water down people we try to put them down we try to put their spirits down because we are jealous we are insecure and this doesn't just have to be this is not just your age mates you have people older than you your aunties your uncles your teachers watering down your ego or putting you down because you're insecure you know and i realized that we're created to coexist it's not a competition it's not about whose light has more intensity no it is it is coming together there's so much darkness in the world and it'll be foolish of us to put off our lights and give darkness the upper hand so the wise thing to do is coexisting coming together because we are our strongest when we come together doesn't matter if i'm half current and you are full current i am a light you are a light and because you are full current does not reduce the fact that i am a light i am still a light in the fullness of being a light because you being better at something does not to reduce my self-worth by one penny so when two lights come together they give off more brightness they give off more intensity you know they are stronger there is more light and there is reduced darkness so i hope i hope i hope this video has been able to at least help you start your you know journey to recovery it is not an overnight thing this is a gradual thing and there is so much more i could have loved 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 to share with you but i tried recording this video several times but for some strange reasons it just kept refusing to record now so please i would love 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 to hear from you do you know someone who is suffering from low self-esteem have you noticed that they are always to themselves have, do they have societal thoughts you know these are things that we need to be more vigilant about Please, please, please like this video, share this video, like, share, like, share, subscribe, like, 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 share, share more. And please, if you have any suggestions on how we can make this channel better, please send us an email at cocatoin at gmail.com. We'll be happy to hear from you. So until my next video, from I and the team, it is goodbye for now.